Hey guys, what's up? This is 99 Software, and this is a part two to how to uh, distribute your apps on the App Store. So after you guys go to iTunesConnect.Apple.com, you're gonna go down to Manage Your Applications, do Add New Application, and then does your product contain encryption? No. Continue. Put your application name. My system we call Sample. And then the app description, I'll just do, this is a sample for YouTube, okay? And to show you guys what um, both of these do, I'll just go to iTunes. I'll just show you my app. Okay, so the, this is going to be the name, that's going to be application name, and the description right here, okay? So all of this, right down there. Okay, so, and then, now for device requirements, you can do iPhone only, iPhone, iPod Touch, second gen, or everything. So I'm just going to do everything. Primary category, you just choose the category you want. I'm just going to do uh, reference, and then I'll just do... Um, education. So copyright, you're going to do 2010, and then your company name. So it should be my company name. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot about something. So go back to the distribution, go to, or your Xcode project, go back to that. Now go down to resources. Go to um, info.plist. Now for bundle identifier, you're gonna have to do com dot your company name. So my company name, and then dot your your um, app. So mine's gonna be called sample. Okay, so command B. Okay, now, now you can quit that. Okay, now go to the build tab, iPhone OS, and then do compress again. Okay, and then you can delete the, the first one. So it just should it should have um distribution two dot zip now or whatever your Xcode project is named. Okay, now you can do version number, and this is the version number right there. This is um, version 1.1. So I'm just gonna do version um, 99 or 9,999. SQ number is just a random number, so that you can remember. So I'm just gonna type all these numbers. It's a unique numerical identifier for the application. And you guys are getting stuff. You can just press the question marks over here. Okay. So keywords. It's just like uh, what you um if a person searched on iTunes or App Store. Um, that will show up. So I'll just do sample YouTube cool awesome. And then you make sure you have your app name and your um, your company name. That's the most important. For your application URL, okay. So it says once keywords are submitted, they can be free. They cannot be freely ed edited. Okay. So, your application URL, that's um, for information about your application. If you guys do not have that, just do your website. So, mine is nanosoftware.com. Support URL, exact same. So, if you have a contact page, I recommend doing that. But I'm just going to do nanosoftware. And then your email address, that one that you use for everything, for um, iPhone developing. And then you, don't, you leave that blank, do continue. Oh. You have to change, you have to um, make a, you have to make a custom name so it cannot be copied by anyone else. And for here, um, it's kind of explanatory. You just do cartoon or vi um, fantasy violence, none, frequent, mild, frequent, intense. So I'm just going to do none on all of them. Okay. And then you just do continue. And then 
for your application, do choose file, go to your folder, build, iPhone OS, and then the .zip folder, open. And then you have to have a, a 512 by 512 icon of your, in, of your game. So mine's right here. There it is. That's my icon. Okay. So I'm gonna have to stop right here because I cannot do any more, or it will uh, I kill my co it'll, um it will make a a game for um the app store. So uh, I can also show you these additional screenshots. So you ha choose four five four uh, screenshots of your app. You know, show up down here. So there's one, two. Oh, it's kind of cut off. But there's four images down here. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's easy. So one, two, three, four. And then there's uh, this right here. That's gonna be the primary screenshot, the one that shows up on uh, like the first one that shows up. Okay. And make sure you choose all the files before you upload. And then primary screenshot. That's the first one. And then additional are the other four. And you just press continue and then you keep doing the steps. I'm pretty sure that's the last one though. So thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.